Welcome to Poisonous Plants 1 to 1, a story about poisonous plants told in 121 seconds. The Digitalis genus contains a great many species and varieties, all known as foxgloves, so I find it easier to refer just to the genus rather than distinguish the many types. It is one of the plants where the therapeutic properties of its toxins have been taken into mainstream medicine. The cardiac glycosides it contains are very useful for people with a range of heart conditions, and there are very many, possibly millions, who have lived longer, better lives as a result. Larger doses, however, are easily fatal, because the glycosides reduce the heart rate and can lead to a fatal heart attack if that slowing goes too far. Though the whole plant is an emetic, there have been cases of heart problems following accidental ingestion, and the extracted medicines have been used to commit murder. Based on its appearance, the plant has a rich folklore, though it has no history of medicinal use. John Gerard, the 16th century herbalist, says, They are of no use, neither have they any place amongst medicines, according to the ancients. It was in the 18th century that Dr William Withering documented how foxgloves could be used to treat the dropsy. He thought the effect was diuretic, but we now know that an underperforming heart can lead to fluid build-up in the body. His 1785 book, An Account of the Foxglove, is almost a model for how scientific trials should be conducted and reported. Foxgloves are abundant in the wild, so people who think they can remove all perceived risks should consider this before removing them from the garden. Plus, of course, removing a plant makes the fairies that live in it homeless. For a lot more information on poisonous plants, please visit www.thepoisongarden.co.uk.